hi everyone i hope you're having a wonderful day i don't really know how to start this <laughs> I'm just gonna get straight into it. Hi guys, I hope you're all having a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, don't mind me, I'm just drinking some tea. I'm not feeling too well, but I'm one of those people that leaves their tea bags in their tea whilst they drink it. I personally think it gives it flavour, so I, I, I am that person, um, yeah. But, so as you can see from my title i wanted to make a video about how to get back into healthy lifestyle and um, when you may have fallen off we are all human beings we all go through ups and downs and that sometimes means we fall off of kind of like the lifestyle or um, the journey that we've placed on ourselves. That's a fun thing about it being a journey, is it's okay to take a detour, it's okay to take a different turn, just as long as you find your way back on course. And I wanted to share my top five tips, um, five tips of how I um, get myself back on track when I'm having a more challenging time. So the real reason I'm making this video is because over the last couple of months I have completely fallen out of the gym. It is an abomination for me. I am someone that normally works out a minimum of three times a week. I um, spend two of those days weightlifting. I lift bra. Yeah. And I spend one of those days um, working on core, cardio or like stretching muscles. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I am heavily struggling with motivation to get me back into the gym. So um, I'm going to use the techniques that I normally use um, to help me kind of like get back on track, get focused, get motivated and actually turn that kind of like oh I don't want to into I can do it <laughs> um this is part one of the video I'm going to explain my five tips um but what I'm also going to do this week is I'm going to put those five tips into action and I'm going to show you actually how I do it so let's get started <laughs> Number one is to plan. Plan everything. I can't stress this enough. It's probably going to be the most important tip I give, only because um, when you plan things, you're more likely to succeed. Um, and what I mean when I say plan is um, put together everything that you would like to achieve within a period of time and write it down or have it somewhere so that you can follow it extremely easy. Number two is drink water. Um, if you've ever watched a YouTube video or a video about weight loss, this is something I 100% know you have seen and you have heard and people say to you all the time, drink water. Water is probably the most greatest thing you can give to your body. Our bodies are made up of kind of like 70% water, so we need it. We need it for our skin to thrive, for our bones to thrive, for our organs to thrive. We need it so much. One of the best ways to start off and get back on track, on the right trail, is to allow your body to be nourished by water. And it's just simple. Drink at least seven glasses of water. The best way I do it is um, I have a slice of lemon in the morning with my water. Um, I drink a mason jar full of water and I make sure to get it down. Um, give your body the opportunity to essentially detox and what that does, it starts afresh. It gives you an opportunity to start back on track with a clean inside. <laughs> Number three, be active. That's it. 
there are no rules to how to be active. There are no rules on what to do. Just get moving. And I know that sounds really crazy, like, no, but if I'm trying to lose weight, then I need to go to the gym and lift weights and blah, 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 blah. No, you don't. What you need to do is start to move, is start to allow your body to get back to understanding what movement above kind of like a basic walking looks like. So, and the best way I like to do it is kind of like home videos. Um, I'll sit at home, I'll have YouTube on and I will do workouts with it. Guys, you just have to be active. One thing I will say, it's um, slow and steady um, allows for a more meaningful journey. If you've been out of this lifestyle for a period of time, once you've slowly allowed yourself to get back into it, you'll be so much more motivated to continue to go on the path that you want to go. But if you run, if you try and jump before you've even kind of like given yourself the appropriate amount of time, there is a possibility that you could fail. Failure is not a bad thing, but what it does, it pushes you back slightly um, because then there's learning there. And there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes you can navigate around that failure um, and it's just by starting slow. So be active, be creative in your activities as well. Um, set yourself the smallest goal, achieve it, increase it, achieve it, increase it. So, be active. Number four, um, be mindful or practice mindfulness. I think this is so important. Um, I think it's really easy for us to beat ourselves up or allow other people, especially being on YouTube and on other social media platforms, um, allowing other people to beat us up when we don't necessarily achieve the things that we've told ourselves we want to achieve, but we've told other people we want to achieve. I think it is very easy to beat yourselves up. But one thing I've learned over time is that it is no one else's journey but your own and you can live it in whatever colours and um, contrasts and routes and directions that you want to live in. But one thing I will say is, yes, you've gone off your path, but you can easily get back onto your path. Think about, firstly, where you were. Where were you kind of like um, a month ago? What have you achieved since then? What do you know you want to achieve and how do you plan to get there? Appreciate yourself and all the things that you're doing and all the things that you're trying to achieve this goal. Because that, having a strong mind, will allow you to have a strong body, will allow you to have a strong energy and you will learn to love yourself. You can then motivate yourself even when you're having a down day to just continue to be strong. So mindfulness is in there because actually you are great and you should know it. Um, number five being food is so important. They're all equally important. Feed your body what it needs to grow. And I know being off track makes it really hard because you may have been in a pattern of um, food that's great for the soul, great for your spirit, but not necessarily always great for your body. I think in order to achieve what it is you want to achieve, you have to have a balanced lifestyle. Um, and that's where planning and food comes into hand. Um, one thing I will always suggest is plan out your food of what you would like to eat for the week. Um, think about the rule of having your protein, carbohydrate and vegetable. Mix it up as well. Food prep um, and have snacks. I always personally just suggest having a more um, nutritionally valued snack. So something like fruit, 
something high in fiber in the midday and then I always then suggest in the evening having a snack that's more enjoyable for your soul. You could flip that on its head, you cannot follow that whatsoever but I think having um, snacks and having something, factoring in something that feeds your soul will help you get back on track because it's not like you're saying no, it's just you're saying not at this moment in time. So those are my five tips to help get you back on track. They are tips that I use to get back on track um, and to prove that I use them and to prove that they do work if you put in the work. And um, part two of this video will be me actually going through this coming week using these five tips to see actually if I can get myself back into the gym, if I can get myself eating more healthier and if I can get myself being more mindful. Um, so I'm gonna do a week long vlog um, of kind of like me doing all of these things so that you guys can see what it is like for me. Just because I'm giving this advice doesn't mean I don't need to take it. I 100% need to take it. That is why these videos exist for me to motivate myself to then be able to motivate others. So I love you all so much. Please remember one thing, if you take nothing from this video, you are a phenomenal human being. And though you feel like you are down now, tomorrow is a new day. And if you want help with that, message me. My email is in the description box because I got you always and forever. Have a good day, guys. Bye.